What's up everybody, Coach Malik here. Today I'm gonna go over, I'm literally just gonna bring you along with me on the bench. Um, during this big, uh, bigger bench program. So I just wanna show you guys what I do. I'll take you through like four or five sets with me. Kinda like you're working out with me, you know? We're just gonna go through some sets. Enjoy the video. So guys, here on my bench press, as you can see, my hands are about shoulder width, a little, a little wider than shoulder width, probably a palms outside of my shoulder width. Um, I like this position for myself, for my height. It works, I like it, try it out. Maybe it'll work for you too. So as I'm going, I rest less in the beginning sets and rest more at the end sets. So the first set, second set, maybe I'll rest like a minute, 30 seconds, first set, minute, second set. After that set, after about 225, going to 315, I usually rest about two, two, two and a half minutes. And then after this set, I usually rest like anywhere from like three, four or five minutes. So we'll see. All right, so right now I am doing a rear delt exercise, which I really recommend in between sets of the bench press. What this does is it activates your rear delts you know we're pressing, pressing, pressing heavy weight. So it's gonna put a lot of stress on our chest, a lot of stress on our front shoulder. So what I do is I like to kind of reverse that and work on my rear side in between sets. So here you see I'm doing the rear delt work. Next, I'm doing bent over dumbbell rows. I just like to work my, and then I'm going light. Like I'm not going super heavy. Rear delt flies were like five pounds. The dumbbell rows are like 40, 35s, 40s. Like I'm not going super heavy, but I'm just kind of getting the backside activated so that you know I'm not overdoing it on the front side. I'll also answer this question I get a lot. How wide should you have your hands during a bench press? Really doesn't matter. Totally dependent on you. I always say whatever feels comfortable with your range of motion, with your like push range of motion. You know if you're tall it's gonna be a different placement than if you're shorter. Um, what I always do to get on the bench, if I'm way out here it's uncomfortable, bring it in a little bit. If that's uncomfortable, bring in a little more. And then right when it's comfortable, that's where you should be for your bench press. So hopefully that helped. I hope you were looking at me right now like I'm fucking crazy. Um, don't give a shit what people think of this. Worry about you folks and what you're doing. Focus on your intention of why you're doing it. You'll be good. If you're watching this video and you wanna do fitness, you wanna record videos and you're scared that like someone's gonna make fun of you or something because you're not good yet, yet is the final, you know, you're not good yet. Who cares if they're laughing at you when you're not good yet? Get good, practice, get better. Doing this shit for like six years now. I wasn't good day one, so you get more confident, I promise. You get more confident. So if you're trying, if you wanna do it, you're just scared, go fucking do it. Do it, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, good five, baby. Good five. All right, now this set right here was super, super heavy. It was probably because I maxed out uh, two days, or one, not the day before this, but the day before that, and my chest was just destroyed. And I explained it after this a little bit of like, you know, what I do and what you should do if you're benching or if you, even if you're squatting, deadlifting, and it just feels heavy, you know, uh, what you should do if for some reason that day the weight feels a little heavy this is what you should do. <sighs> All right. That felt way heavier than yesterday or two days ago. Damn. That was fucking heavy. So you should go up to 3.30 right now. But that fucking was heavy as fuck. So I'm staying here. I don't want to get hurt. I'm really trying to bench 405 by 405. If I don't do that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So if I don't bench like three times a week, it's because I don't feel like I'm ready. Like in terms of like injury, like I'm not trying to like injure myself. So, and if I don't bench, like today, I'm not gonna bench my five, six sets. This is my last one at four, because my shoulder's starting to feel, you know, a little whatever. And uh, I know how it's gonna feel tomorrow if I just keep going up. So I'm gonna keep it here, eat a lot the next couple days, try to recover. And then on Friday, I should be able to hit it just fine. And if not, definitely by Monday. Definitely by Monday. Let's go, baby. Oh, let's go. All right, so this is my last set of bench. Again, it was feeling heavy. I just wanted to go one more set. Same weight, I didn't go up. Guys, if it's feeling heavy, no need to go up. Just stay at that same weight. Try to hit the same amount of reps just so you can get the work in. 
So how the clan's kind of going right now is what I'm noticing the last month. Um, I don't know if you're following me on Instagram, if you're watching this video, but if you're not, follow me on Instagram. Um, but I hit 3.30 as a max a month ago, four weeks ago, 3.30. Yesterday, Monday, I hit 3.30 for four. So usually what happens is that if you hit like a max PR one time or like you hit something that your body's not used to, you're not gonna be able to like hit that same you know, weight in a couple of days. It takes your central nervous system and your whole body and uh, you know, your, your muscle itself, it takes time to recover. So for what I've realized in the last four weeks is that on Mondays are usually my heaviest days. Those are usually when I can lift the most weight and I think it's because I took the whole weekend to rest. Then on Wednesdays, it's usually like a fucking grinder. It's like, fuck man, like it's, everything's heavy. I'm still kind of sore. Uh, and then Fridays, depending on how much I eat between Wednesday and Thursday, uh, Fridays are chill, uh, Fridays are all right. I don't go as heavy on the bench press, but I do other um, exercises. So I'll do like incline, um, dumbbell, I'll do uh, like machine press, heavy dips, stuff like that. So Fridays are chill, and then that just tears my chest up. Saturday rest, Sunday rest, and then again on Monday it's usually um, pretty good. So that's kind of how the plan's been going. Again, if you want to do the same plan I'm doing right now for the bigger bench press, go to the description down below wherever you're watching this video. You don't have a link, or you can go to coachmalik.com slash biggerbench. This is one of my favorite back and bicep supersets. We bent over dumbbell row and then dumbbell curls. Favorite one. You guys will love it. No rest in between. After do like a minute rest. It's a good one. So guys, this is one of my. It's actually not one of my favorite. I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Everything's one of my favorites. Get pretty good heavy weight here. So guys, we're gonna go from hammer curls to incline dumbbell curls. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. Pretty much what you're gonna do, come down on the incline press. You want your arms all the way hanging. Twist to the palms away. And then the inside of the dumbbells, you wanna aim those, target those to your ears. Ears, one. Ears, two. Three. Two more, two more. Nine. Uh, ten. Uh. You guys, I really think you're gonna like those. If you wanna get a pump next bicep workout, definitely do those. Probably one of the best exercises I've ever done in terms of getting a pump. You're really stretching out that bicep at the bottom. And what I like is mixing these two. You can go heavy at this angle with your arm, and then you go light here. Heavy here, light here, and it gives a great pump. So next bicep workout, highly recommend it. Try that out next time you do bicep workout or a bicep superset. And if you do it, let me know how you like it in the comments below. Let me know how, how good your pump was during that superset. Let me know in the comments. Guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I don't know how much of the lav mic or like the, the mic I was using for my, for my iPhone, for my headphones is gonna work. Hopefully it all worked. I have a feeling some of it didn't. But anyway, I appreciate you watching this. Hopefully you got some tips from that video. If you did, comment below what your biggest tip was that you took from this video and let me know the timestamp. let me know when you saw it in the video thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you for clicking on this video and watching it especially to this point if you have any recommendation for future videos or you want more fitness advice fitness tips to help you reach your fitness goals subscribe to the channel follow the page appreciate every single one of you guys remember be certain in yourself be certain in your talents and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key See you next video.